My dog, Jake. That's the way we start this off. I remember a place, a town, a house like a lot of houses, a yard like a lot of other yards, on a street like a lot of other streets. And the thing is, after all these years, I still look back with wonder. I'd like to inform you what he said about you the other day. Uh, would you like to repeat it, Mr. Mills? I say nothing. Uh, okay. Talk about pump. Right. We're not saying that about popping in your mouth. He made a comment about your mother, Mr. Mills. Right. What? I don't remember exactly what it was. He did. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if we can, can we go to the tape right? Yes, yes. Hang on. Let me get the director. You guys wait right there. I believe I have the tape. He doesn't know. I, th I don't believe he know we were. Yes. Let's go to that tape right now. See what happened. Yeah, but you have you a for you, friends? <laughs> there it is. Mr. Mills said he didn't say anything. I believe Pippin, you just saw that. Proves I'm not the liar in this case. Oh, you come, come on, bitch. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah. Come on. Let's not. Let's come on. Let's come. Ah. 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 Let's go outside right now, and my dad is getting ready to go to the flea market tomorrow. Let's take a look at what's going on. Getting ready at the current time. A lot of stuff is over here, but they've moved most of it out. Let's go see them moving the items. It was another day in paradise in Florida, March 1994. Using a U-Haul van. My dad's getting ready to go to the flea market. I told you guys he loved the flea market. My dad was from the silent generation. He was old school, old fashioned, a little rough around the edges. Had a little bit, just a little bit, tiny bit of a temper. Hey, Sam. Hey, Dad. I guess you could say he was a bit like Jack Arnold from The Wonder Years, one of my favorite shows growing up. My dad had a big heart. He would do anything for me. I love him. I always will. But that doesn't mean things were always perfect. So if I give the impression that we had this perfect family life, we didn't. Just like any other family. We had our problems. But we'd overcome them. That's all you can really do in this life. Getting ready to head to the flea market tomorrow. It's March and we have some big news coming up for you. And just a little later on, stay tuned for the next AHP video in about a week. Could be the best one yet. We'll have news on that coming up. It's the 13th, the date. Ladies and gentlemen, the big news we have is coming up for you right after this. Father and Stuart just gotta watch him. He'll sneak out. Just turned home, I believe. I'm the slimmer. All the way to the flea market and back on that. Isn't that unbelievable? <laughs> he calls me. Let's follow him. Yes? Uh huh. Take that one in the back porch. Alright. Don't let nobody. Uh... One sec. Hey, I thought that was mine. Okay, take it in the back. Trying to sell my stuff. No, we got too many of them. We got 10 of them. Alrighty. There's no one like my dad. Stuart, Even if he wasn't my father, I'd still say that. I miss him. All at once. Like every boy, Stuart, I wanted to be just man. like my dad.
and we'll try to catch up with Stuart now. My parents had their own community in the neighborhood. They were friends with all the neighbors. It was all kind of like one big family. Mother escapes our eye by an inch. So, March the 13th, 1994. There's the dog, waiting for us. My mom was different. She was more of a softie. I guess they had a yin and yang thing going. They balanced each other out. That camera work. How are you doing, I'm alright. Say hello to everyone, mother. They'll be watching this. Hi, Say to everyone. Hi, everyone. Don't get so close. Come on, it's almost time to eat. This is the way, not with the... And I washed my hands last week, okay? Oh, the modern one here, oh, look. The modern way is with this. But I'm old-fashioned. Don't go. A wise man once said that in the battle of growing up, junior high is basic training. Although I'd have to disagree a little bit. I think the war had already arrived in middle school. Thanks to these guys, my comrades, my friends, I survived. Come on now. my car My car's too. We were starting to go out more, stretching our legs a little bit, you could say, exploring the world around us. When I need some peace of mind, I, I know where to find it. By the end of the road. In those days, the world seemed huge. Billy Joe is a goat. Billy Joe is a goat. Our crew started hanging out more, going to the movies. We were building a camaraderie. Tupac, how are you doing? I can't keep my mind on things I'd be better off to leave. Gotta be careful not to get stuck. And so I walk. Can I keep on walking? Keep you awake. I'll see you for the wedding countdown tape. That is coming up right, right next. Stay where you are. I'm your host, Dolly Hadar. And just like that, my parents were packing me up and shipping me out to Michigan for my cousin's wedding. Talk about being ready. Hello, everyone. You'll see me soon. You'll probably see me right now. Welcome to the Ali Hadar wedding countdown show. We're counting down to our sixth AHP video. The greatest wedding. No, wait. The biggest wedding of all time, Till Mine, starring Elliot Ah, to be young and innocent. 
Back when I still had dreams of a big romance and a big wedding. Good for you, kid. Pessimist, optimist, basketball game. A one-on-one -on -one look at uh, what's going to happen, you know. The pessimist will explain that stuff later. But first, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the competition and the cameraman. They're going to be, I'm sure, paid, so-called paid cameramen who are getting paid to do this job. And they get paid, what, five, six million dollars? But they get paid a lot of money. And I'm not getting paid. You should have figured this out a long time ago. I am not getting, am I getting paid, I am. No. I'm not getting paid for this, but I'm doing it anyway. This is something very special. And not only am I going to beat the competition, I'm going to kill the competition. I guarantee you my tape will be much better. We're going to keep you awake. I had a real chip on my shoulder in those days. A real rebel without a cause. I was going to show those no good cameramen that I was better. Clown around and uh... We will have our moments. We're going to do everything. We're going to get an interview with the groom if we can. We're going to get an interview with relatives close to the, the people who are getting married. And, and we're just going to see how they feel about it. And you know, I'm hoping we can have someone who doesn't like the idea that this wedding's going on. I'm just hoping one person's going to say, I don't like the fact that these two are getting married. But I wouldn't think that would happen. That would be interesting. I always did enjoy stirring so, up a little well, trouble in those days. Way. We're going to send it over to Hiram Munoz for his comments about the paid cameraman. Paid camera my ass. Whenever one of my cousins would get married, I would ask them to let me rap at their wedding. No one ever let me. Something very special will happen. And I wouldn't let them down, but of course, they probably won't let me. I would doubt it very seriously. But if they do, they won't regret it. Most likely, I'll be rapping. Now, last time I wanted to, apparently these people were too embarrassed. They think I'd make a fool of myself. But you know I wouldn't. You know I wouldn't. Life has been gorgeous. Wake up the clear. My eyes have recorded. Praise up to God. I ain't chasing no b**** Swinging the mist. Got me hitting these lips. I get the orders. Don't get it distorted. Disconnect. Woo. Scary thought. I'll tell you. What to expect most likely. I would expect a little crying. Most likely from the, the mother possibly. Auntie Jamelia might cry a little. But uh, that's about all I would expect. Not, I'm, I'm going to look for people who might cry during the wedding. I'm going to you know, look around and see if we can find anybody. If we, but if we can't, you know. No big deal. Hiram recently interviewed my mother. We're going to show you the interview which she did. Should be very interesting. She asked, he asked her a lot of personal questions. But we're going to have so many interviews there. You guys are not going to believe it. We're going to have packed interviews. It is going to be so, so unbelievable. The interviews that we are going to be doing. Uh, we're going to try and get an interview with the groom. Uh, Imad. Uh, hopefully we can get an interview with him. See how he feels about marriage. Like he, like he's going to say, I hate it. I didn't want to get into this in the first place. Damn it! You know, I want to read you something for you. Follow me in here. We had no cell phones to play on or internet to go on in the early 90s. And most of us didn't have that in the late 90s either. So we had to keep ourselves busy other ways. And to be honest, I think we had more fun. Where is that Ha! Alright, can you zoom in on this for me? Can you see that? I uh, can't see that goes too far. I'm going to tell you what it says. It says, I've never believed love could be so sweet, so overwhelming, so tender. Then I met you. Uh, management requests no children. I just read that, so apparently I won't be there. Sorry. Got to cut it off. I'm not going to be there. Oh, well. Huh. It's a joke. Coming up next, the pessimist, optimist basketball game. The pessimist, optimist basketball game. This is how we do it. One person will say, the, the optimist will shoot first. He'll say, this is what's going to happen in their life. He'll shoot. If he makes it, that's what happens. But then the pessimist has to come along and say something bad. And if they make it, that bad thing is going to happen. Let's send it to the pessimist, optimist basketball game coming up right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the optimist. Come on out, optimist. Good life and good wishes. Good life and more wishes. Good life and good wishes. More wishes. Try to make this have a good life. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound very good. Ladies and gentlemen, the pessimist. If I make this, we're going to get divorced in the next two weeks. Oh. I still think it's going to happen. If I win this, I can have beautiful children. Beautiful children it is! They would have a wonderful life. No wonderful life! 
I uh, make this, uh, I'll be the best president. He beat the pessimist! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Hiram recently spent a little time with my mother. He interviewed her. Let's take a look. Do you like e -Med? What's the question? Hiram would like to know if you like e -Med. Do I like Emad? Of course I like Emad. He's my nephew. Do you think this way is a mistake? Do I what? Do you think this way is a mistake? <laughs> You're both goofy. No, of course not. How long you been married? How long have I? Almost 40 years. Do the same, man. You wait till your wedding, mister. Ooh, wee. It really was a street like any other street, house like any other house, yet I still struggle to put into words what this period of time meant to me. Send in, dudes! And brunettes! Don't let the dog out, dude. I'm not. Look at that fine hammer over there. A ferocious dog. Oh, a dog of dogs. Hey, here she is. Wait. Growing up on that block, those times are forever etched in my heart and my soul. It's part of who I am. Those wonderful years with my parents and my friends when we still had our whole lives ahead of us. on AHP, sixth video. The biggest wedding of all time till I see you then. Yeah. No matter how old I get, no matter where I go, no matter where this life takes me, that place, that street, that town, will always be home. And those will always be the most wonderful years of my life.